Jill here, Special Needs Mom Talks. Uh, I thought I'd come on here and do a little riff about loving ourselves and how the hell, hell can we ever really truly love another, ever give the fullness of ourselves to our offspring or to you know our partner if we don't learn to love ourselves. And what does that freaking even mean? Because like, I'm not going to go around saying I love myself. You know, I did that. I tried it. It didn't really help. The things that helped were when I was having the bad thoughts, when I'm having the negativity, when I'm experiencing those energies is also at the same time saying, Jill, it's okay. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean it's tied to this story. It doesn't mean that, you know, this is going to play out in the future. Just kind of shutting that all down into the present moment. And uh, yeah, so huge with self-compassion and it's, and also stepping into doing things that are uncomfortable, whether you do well at them or not, and taking those risks. And if you do fail or screw up having that self-compassion, I think that's where I'm trying to move towards loving myself more because shit, that's not easy. And I think our whole society right now is waking up to the fact that we we don't do this enough. We're always running. We're always expecting. We're always externalizing. We've got to do this. We've got to accomplish that. And even more so with someone that's managing, well, for everybody, not to make it ex an exceptional situation with special needs kids. It's a different situation. We're all in extremely exceptional times right now. And if we can start to have one little modicum of love for ourselves, I think it opens up all kinds of portals. So, um, yeah, and just being out in the woods for me is a freaking luxury for so many people. And I can judge myself up and down to where I don't even go out. Um, and then I thought, how ridiculous is that? I know how to access it. It's easy to get to. It's part of my routine. And it, it is a remembrance and a healing. And blocking that off or being open to doing it when I can because I can't really block it off with the way life is flowing right now. So knowing, having the intention you're going to include some kind of activity outside or however, however you find some joy. Where's the joy? Are we supposed to be just drones here? Like walking around, robotic, blah, 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 go here, do this, go here. There's no joy. Only joy unless we, you know, have to get high or get drunk. And uh, nothing wrong with that. If you find, you remember joy in those moments, that's why it's so powerful because we're so deprived of it. So if you can find that joy moment, get to it get to it, ask, ask for guidance to bring it in and your higher self to deliver. Love y'all.